Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 and in this video I am going to test out DECU's Angara rocket in 1.8.1 with the configurations that Realism Overall comes with. Previously I had used my own configurations for this particular mod but Realism Overall now comes with configurations of its own so I just want to make sure that those work properly. Obviously I've deleted my own configuration out of the install and this is in honor of the fact that they finally decided to relaunch it again on another test. Previously, uh, Russia had tested Angara 5 in 2014 in December, and it had Angara 5 with a Briz M stage and a two ton mass simulator. And well, after six years, they've decided to basically do the same thing again, except with a 2.4 ton mass simulator, uh, though. This time it got to geosynchronous or geosynchronous transfer orbit. I don't know if they circularized. I assume they circularized. But uh, the previous test in 2014 was just to low Earth orbit as far as I know. So this is the second test of Angara 5. A uh, long time coming and hopefully they'll eventually put it to good use. But we should uh, see if we can use it in Kerbal Space Program. Now here I've typed in Angara and found the parts. I'll link the version of the mod that I'm using in the video description. Uh, somebody has taken over the Q's Angara mod and adapted it for 1.10, but I'm in 1.8.1, so I'm still using the old version of the mod in 1.1.3. It was made for 1.1.3, so I'll link that version as a space stock link in the video description. Now, we should probably get a mass simulator first because all this goes underneath, so before I get to that, and putting that together, I'm going to get myself a uh, simple tank. I guess I'll just go with this procedural tank. And we need 2.4 tons. Oh, uh, that's 2.4 tons right there. Okay, that'll do. And then we need a Briz stage. Now, the Angara mod does not come with a Briz stage. As you can see, These are there's no Briz part here. So we're going to use Raider Nick's Briz stage from his Proton. It's a Soviet rockets pack. And so there's a Briz. Well, if you type in Briz and you have that, mod installed. There's this decoupler. And then there's this Briz core tank. And I believe they are using the Briz M expansion tag tank. Briz M expansion tank. If I take a look at the wiki description of the Angara 5 rocket, it says the burn time for the Briz M stage is 3000 seconds. 3,000 seconds, which is 50 minutes. So let's see. Uh, you're going to really enjoy this, by the way. <laughs> this uh, actually for the, this is from a different mod. This is the one that actually comes with. Uh, so these are vernier thrusters that comes with the Raider Nick mod. And this is the main thruster. It's like that. Um, so that's only 14 minutes. So obviously, and that's not even with the Verniers. Uh, 13 minutes. So yes, obviously it's the one with the expansion tank. So we put that like that. And we've got it all ready to go. Um, though we don't want the expansion tank separating immediately when we ignite. So then we sum that up and we see that's about 3,000 seconds in fact. All right. Uh, Another optional stage would be the KVTK, but that is not what they launched with on this test, so I'm not going to uh, use that. We could have another payload except for a dummy tank that's 2.4 tons, but uh, the payload I was thinking of, the Molnia 1, is not that big. It's only 1.64 tons, so we'll leave it be. Uh, that might be an interesting payload eventually. But with this now, we can move on to putting the Angara together. So we have Angara payload adapter. Uh, probably it should have something on top, but this will be fine for now. And we have Angara 5 payload fairing. And you can see the Briz fits inside just right. That is intentional. Uh, so that's good. And we have Universal Rocket Module 2, which is the second stage. No, that's from Real Engines as well. So the uh, this one is from the Deku mod. So we'll go with this one. And it doesn't say Angara on it, but I think this is the one from the mod rather than a different mod. So we'll run with it. 
and see how it goes. So you are M1 now. And we have an RD191. Incidentally, if you want to use a KVTK, which is a hydrolock stage, a much more efficient stage than the Briz we have up there, this is the engine for it, RD0146. Uh, so that is an option, but you'd have to build the tank. Because I haven't actually seen the tank for it. Now, once again, normally when I'm testing stuff or showing how to put things together, uh, these days it's more often than not something I designed or built. Uh, this is not the case for this. None of these parts are mine. This is a rarity these days. Okay, and we will... Yes, we want the apertures for the nozzles for the separation motors to be facing that way. I don't know if there's a different texture on here to remove the tag. It doesn't look like it. I mean the Angara label. And we also want to be able to throttle down the core because the core has to outlast the boosters. So we're going to select that and we're going to assign group ID and I'm just going to call this core so we can throttle it down separately. And it has the throttle down for the core stage as somewhere between 44 and 51 seconds into the launch. And it throttles down to 64%. So we have that. So anyway, we have an Angara. I have set my launch location to Plisetsk, which is where they launched from. Uh, yes, I'll overwrite the other Angara 5. And we are going to see how this works. Okay, this is about the time they launched at. Uh, it was 5.50 a.m. UTC. And we'll throttle up. I'm assuming to go straight out. Since it's going to go to the geosynchronous orbit, we're not going to go polar. Even though it's from Plisetsk, uh, where you would rather go polar, to be honest. Uh, Plisetsk is... I, I wonder whether Vostokny is ever going to happen. But that's another launch site that they've been building. Uh, and it was supposed to be for Angara, but they have not gotten that together. We don't need rendezvous. As far as our Delta V is concerned, well, we'll see. We'll see whether any of that makes sense. So, ignition. Bloom looks fine there. And launch. And we're going up. I'll prepare to throttle down the core, which is this icon here. It seems like they have assumed that the boosters would run for three minutes, but the actual burn time is supposed to be three and a half minutes for the boosters. However, that includes a throttle down, so it's tough to really assess that. So we're at 40 seconds. I'm going to throttle down the core, and I'm going to check whether that's actually 64%, 64%, that's only 72%, so. Uh, okay, there we go. Basically half of its thrall range here. It's got a fairly low thrust weight ratio at this point. So I'm turning a little bit too fast. I'll leave it at a little bit of a high angle of attack here for a bit. Throwing the core down at all is a pain, actually. But so far, so good. It is, in fact, working. Okay, to make these last an extra 30 seconds, I'm gonna throttle down now. In fact, now it's looking like if I just go full throttle, it'll be okay. So, I don't know about the mech jab stage time reading. Again, we wanted three and a half minutes. Yep, we're a little bit late. Separation. Oh, it's pretty good. I mean, vigorous. Ooh, and an extra twist to it. I don't know what those little things at the end are, but okay. No problems. Throttle up on this. I don't know how this is supposed to control roll at this point. <laughs> uh, yep. No clue. It's actually supposed to be lasting a little bit longer. 
It's supposed to be 328 seconds, which is th 5 minutes and 28 seconds. We are not going to get that far. So that's interesting. Maybe uh, the core stage thrall down should be deeper than what we set it at. Okay, separation. That works. Ignition. Okay, uh, so separation and ignition should have happened at 328 or basically still in like 15 seconds. And then it jettisons the fairing at uh, 5 minutes and 40 seconds. And fairing jettison. Okay, we should probably pitch up a little bit. Hmm. Well, I think my inaccuracies might have caused this to not... Oh, the bri breeze. The breeze actually starts twice. Okay. Um, so, this stage doesn't actually bring it to orbit, which is super interesting. This will get it to the right apoapsis, but then the briz will circularize, and then it'll do the boost up, and then it'll circularize. It does a lot of burns, <laughs> that briz. I'll go with the timings they have. But uh, it doesn't seem like this stage alone has enough delta-v for getting us to orbit. The, I don't think that our inaccuracies with the thrall down and all that business would have made that big a difference to the delta-v. It'll make a difference, but it's just not going to make up this difference. And it does seem like the Briz ignites only shortly after this stage cuts off. Well, that's not super duper the best situation. Um, Technically, we would have to wait uh, 2 minutes and 20 seconds before igniting the Briz, but we might want to do that a little bit earlier rather than later. Okay, separation. Oops, separation. Okay. Uh, I'll delay a bit, I guess. This is going to take a while. This first burn with the Briz is supposed to be... Uh, 210 seconds, or 3 minutes and a half. But I'll do what I need to do to make sure this does not die, <laughs> basically. Okay, well, I mean, we won't die die, but <laughs> we will briefly re-enter the atmosphere like this. I needed to toss it up a little bit higher. I didn't fully appreciate. I mean, this is it is 21 tons, so it is heavy and everything. I didn't appreciate how much this was stretching the limits of Angara 5. It turned the camera as if we were in orbit. <laughs> it's not exactly what's happened, but worse things have happened to missions. We can say that much. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut down for the time being. That is much longer than they planned. Now, technically, the restart of Briz is a little bit over an hour into the mission, which makes me think that they wanted to boost up from this side's equator, not where we are right now. So we're gonna time warp. We only have internal power. Oh, uh, we are still in the atmosphere, right? So apparently it would have started the burn already here. But I think our delay in actually getting to orbit might have caused us to be a bit slow. But let me just plot it here. Let's say I do a maneuver to boost up. And I imagine the maneuver... There's another restart of the Briz after a little while. It doesn't probably won't uh, correct inclination too much yet. Um, it's in about four hours that the next restart is, which makes me think that this, uh, this doesn't boost up all the way to GTO immediately. 
So it's probably something like this going on. Okay. Ignition. Okay, I'm no longer pointing at the node. I'm trying to manage this so that the periapsis doesn't go up too much. Or down, obviously. So, just picking a tilt that works for that. Also, uh, don't really need to correct inclination that much here. It's not efficient. Though we're higher up now. We're just slowly bringing it down. Plus, this is a heck of a place to try and uh, put up a... I mean, I don't think I want to correct it that much from here. We'll wait until we're higher up. But, yeah, it's a crazy inclination to deal with. We're just going to burn out this stage. And I think that'll get us what we need. The restart of the Briz stage is supposed to be at 12,363 seconds. Which is like three and a half hours, roughly speaking. So if you take our current time and period, it's it's about where our periapsis is going to be. If we just burn out the stage, which is what I'm sure they did. And when I say the stage, I mean this expansion tank. Not that bit. Okay. That'll be that tank. So that tank jettisons. Uh, well, I guess it's off. Not as frisky as your normal sort of deal. So, makes sense. This next burn, I would expect, goes all the way out to... Oops. GTO. And that burns about a thousand seconds. Fifteen minutes. I don't think the stage is that long. <laughs> Unless we throttle it down somehow. I don't think it throttles. And I'm wondering if our electric charge is going to hold out. We'll see. I don't know. We might not end up with exactly as much delta V as we needed. But we know where we went wrong there. Me not having quite the right timing on the throttle down and probably a bad trajectory. Seems like 2.4 tons to... The full circularized uh, geosynchronous orbit is about all this can do with the Briz stage. They'll need the KVTK for anything better. Okay, that'll be good enough. No, no, you don't have to do anything. All right, so that is full geostationary transfer orbit. But we're a bit short of what we need to actually correct this entire inclination. Well, let, let's see if we can do the boost up part. I mean, it looks like we could get close to a circular orbit there. Problem is, we can't correct the inclination. So that's the margin that we did not have. But I want to check the electric charge, make sure it holds out for enough time. It seems like it will. So yeah, I'm not going to do this final bit. I think the rocket itself works with the realism overall configs. And so this has been a little test because they they did the real test in real life. And uh, well, we're here at GTO and we're not quite going to be able to do geosynchronous orbit. But I know what needs to be fixed in on my part to make it work out. So I'm satisfied. Uh, I don't know if all the numbers for the configuration on this mod are exactly right. In other words, some of the dry masses might be lighter than they have them or something like that but uh, for now it's a workable version of angara 5 so with that i'll say thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time